Hi, I'm Crystal. I'm a current freshman at the University of Pennsylvania's Management and Technology program. Um, it's a dual degree program between the engineering school and Wharton, um, which is the business school here. And there are 50 people in the program. In high school, I did a lot of technical things, some things on the startup end, and I'm happy to dive into all of them. Amazing. And like, did you apply ED to this program or was it already? Hi, can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Okay, yeah. Hi. No, yeah. I said, did you did you apply ED to this program or did you apply already? Yeah, I ED to the program. Amazing. I gotta say congrats. You got in like one of the best thank programs you, you. and Thanks. you didn't have to go through the RD hassle. I That's know. always good, you know? <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. So like, when did you, when did you consider you've been as a possibility uh, then? Like, yeah, that's to, like, a good question. Schools? I mean, like, I have always been very technical. So I guess UPenn was never on my radar at all. I feel like for technical people, everyone's looking at like MIT, Stanford and stuff. But I did MNTSI, which is MNT summer program. If you guys are interested in MNT, you should look more into it. But I did that and I really liked it. I was kind of venturing more on the startup side as well during that time. So it was super cool seeing like how Warren was able to connect to kind of both the business and tech sides that I was interested in. And then I decided to ED here. Amazing. And uh, let's move on to your academic stats. So I guess like what was your GPA? What was your test scores? Uh, tell, if you did take a test score uh, test, can you tell us a bit about how you prepped? What was your starting score? What was your final score? Like any, any advice in that area? Yeah, sure. GPA, I had a perfect 4.0 and I was like top 1% of my class. And Amazing. SAT, I never took the ACT, but SAT, I had a 1550 with the super score. I think I took it twice to get there. Amazing. And like, what was your starting score? And how, how did you, like, that's an amazing score, right? How did you get yes. to a score? Uh, I'm trying to think. I don't remember what it was starting. Maybe like, it was still like maybe 1520, 1530 ish. And then I didn't do, I don't think I had to do too much prep, but I had to look a lot. I think I used Khan Academy probably. And then there's like a test bank of like hard SAT questions. I just looked at those, like did random problems. Uh, I mean, it, it wasn't really hard for you, I guess, because uh, you got like a really good score. But like, what advice would you have for students stuck in the 1400 range? Um, I guess the advice is always just like keep doing practice problems. I know it's like annoying, but I feel like it's probably the best way because if you see more problems, um you'll get better naturally i also think you should go in the perspective that you like can't miss any question like you go in thinking like you need a 1600 so that every time like every question you do you think more carefully of it and you don't have the mindset of like oh it's like an 80 percent chance i'm right like i'll just guess this answer and you're more mindful of every choice you're making on the test and for ap's how many did you take and what were your scores Ooh. on those i I never counted, but it's like, I think I took like five or six a year. Uh, so whatever that math is. And I got like on 20, 20, maybe. Yeah. And I got mostly fives. I got like a few fours on like some random classes. Insane. Thanks. That's, that's very, that's very impressive. And that's Thank a lot you. of APs. All right, let's talk about your EC. So I guess like which of your extracurriculars do you think were the most impactful that got you into? Yeah, ironically, I think I spent most of my high school time doing like competitive programming, but like I'm actually too slow for that. So like I never got anywhere, but I like pivoted junior year into building like a nonprofit startup type thing. I built Automy, which is an educational game platform for blind and visually impaired students. It's been super fun building that. I'm still working on it now, but it was like so cool because I got to use my like technical skills that I got from competitive programming to build projects, which I love doing. And then it was also on the business side where I built a team um, and then I got to distribute out the platform to like different schools across the United States and across the world. And also I got money for the first time. I was able to like apply for grants, which is super cool to see that the stuff I was making actually had like an impact, not just via like influencing people but also like in actual terms of money so that was really fun that's very impressive i was also yeah. i mean i was in like clubs and stuff i was like president of computer science club girls who code oh i was an orchestra if y'all are from texas i did <laughs> all state viola i think thanks uh, yeah so like would you say like i feel like your your activities were very focused on coding slash tech slash building so 
I like your your platform. I was for visually impaired kids, right? What narrative did you put forward? Because a lot of admissions officers also look for the why behind your activities, right? So I guess like, how yeah. did you frame those in your essays? Mm -hmm. My Common App was actually about this. So my Common App was about Wordle, like the New York Times game. So <laughs> yeah. I have a friend who's blind and she was unable to play Wordle since it's obviously like a very visual game. So I built a audio-based version of Wordle, which is like the first audio-based like assistive technology project I've ever built. That's so cool. So yeah, it was really great. I think it was a good story because I mean, like writing an essay about Wordle is like pretty interesting, I would say. And it kind of tied into my ECs. Yeah, amazing. I think that that's like what the best advice. Like you don't talk that much about your ECs, but you talk the mm -hmm. reasons into going into those ECs. Yeah. For sure. Um, you know, let's talk about your, your supplemental essays. I guess like which one, what do you think was the hardest? And if you could walk us through like what you wrote about, that would be amazing as well. Yeah, sure. Wait, I like didn't write that many subs. I only wrote my U Penn subs and then I'm from Texas. So I wrote like my Texas A&M subs and then my UT Austin subs. I didn't write any other ones. Like if I didn't get into Penn ED, I think I would have been so screwed. Like my whole winter break would have just been like essays, essays, essays. That's, that's called self-belief. I don't know, bro. I think it was just called like <laughs> procrastination. But anyways. No, no, no. You, you got it done though. Yes, sir. Okay. My U Penn subs. One of them was like write a thank you letter. I wrote it. Oh, if y'all are applying to Penn, I'd say like write it to as unique of a person as you can. Like do not write it to like your family member, like your brother or your friend or something, even though they're like, even if they're super influential, like write something interesting. Like for me, I wrote about my dentist just based off of like one interaction I had with her. Yeah. And then there's other subs, the T ones, like the M and T, if you're applying to M and T, there's two essays. I think the first one matters the most. I'd say focus that one a lot more on like career stuff, what you're interested in doing okay. with both an engineering and business degree. And then the second one, I don't think that one matters that much. Yeah. A lot of people want to get into Word and it's like one of the best schools, right? So mm -hmm. like, do you have like any piece of advice and anything you would like for them to avoid during the college application process? I'm trying to think. Hang out with Wharton people, talking to them. Like most of them are pretty much like top, I guess, like 1% of their class. I'd say academics are really important. Like don't underestimate those. But if they're, if whoever's watching is like a freshman, sophomore, junior or something, like definitely prioritize your grades. Like pretty much everyone who's gotten into Wharton has like all A's or just like one or two B's, like worst case. Yeah, grades are very important. People think they're not, but they definitely like are. Like I, I don't think you, yeah. totally agree with this. Like I've interviewed over like, 30 people now mm -hmm. and everyone even though the SAT scores or test scores are not that good the grades are very good mm -hmm. yeah I yeah, think that's like sure. a very big differentiator mm -hmm. and say everyone everyone's ECs are pretty varied there's like a ton of it's very diverse here I mean common threads obviously DECA FBLA because they're business yeah, majors yeah, yeah. but yeah just do what you're passionate about amazing thank you so much for your time I think it was amazing talking to you I think it'll be immensely helpful for people who are looking to apply to this program yeah, uh, let's awesome. take it. Awesome, thank you so much, Woody. Yes, of course. Of course. <laughs>